This is Chippy with the N900, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you some some of the features of the browser and how fast it is, and how it supports Flash and JavaScript. So we're connected to a local uh, network here, uh, that's 82.11G uh, wireless network, and uh, I'm already on uh, on YouTube. What I'm going to do is actually let's let's try some other uh, some other websites first. So we can go to this um, overview page, which shows all the windows or tabs that are open. One of which is uh, a bookmark tab, which is quite handy. So if we go to, just for example, well, let's start with a basic one: Google search. So that's for pretty quick to come up there. That's already already done. Go again to the uh, bookmark selection. Let's try Flickr, and it seems to be that. Uh, the browser presents itself as a full desktop browser, so we're not getting um, we're not getting uh, mobile versions of websites as we as we browse, which is quite good. And of course, you've got the uh, zoom feature. The bigger the circle, the faster it zooms in and out. So little little circles refine the zoom. It's <laughs> there's big debates as to whether this is a silly gesture. Or whether it's actually going to create a new trend of zooming in on certain parts of people's bodies with little twirling motions. <laughs> anyway, back to uh, back to the uh, browser. So let's go to YouTube. It's quite a challenging website, and it will show you that uh, Flash is actually working on the on the N900 as well. So there we go. That's the uh, the main site open there. We're able to zoom. Sorry, zoom and. Um, pan around the site pretty quickly. Let's pick out one of the videos here and we'll show you how YouTube YouTube um, in-browser embedded playback works. So it's uh, going to the page for the uh, for the video right now. Seems to be taking a little bit of time there actually. Let's actually try a different one. There we go. That's loading up. And there's the flash element. And I believe it plays the low quality version, so you don't get the option for HQ. Okay. So once you get a little bit of a stuttery start, but once it's in, it's actually very smooth and um, actually quite impressive. Let's try and go full screen. So full screen, embedded flash playback is actually quite impressive. So again, this is the low quality version, I believe, from the. Uh, YouTube website, so no HQ and no HD options available here. And uh, it's pretty impressive. We can actually, I think we should be able to move around the file. Maybe not. So um, now I'm trying to find a way to get out of that. Okay, there we go. We're back in the embedded player. So actually, you know, if you keep if you're a sort of person that keeps up with news and events through YouTube and you don't need the full quality, um, that's working pretty well. Let's go to a um, let's go to a Java heavy website now, and that probably be something like uh, so what we need have what a look, that's for. actually active in the background there as well, which is interesting. I'm gonna close that window. There we go. Um yeah, I wanna go to Let's go to Google Reader. So, uh, a bit difficult for me to type behind the camera. Reader. Dot Google. Dot com. The keyboard actually isn't that bad. Tiny keys, but they're nicely raised. So, Google Reader. It's a very JavaScript-heavy page, and uh, on most mobile phones. Um, well, at least those running with an ARM 11 based processor, and that's most of the smartphones out there, take over a minute to load this, load this page. On a PC, it loads in about 10 seconds. And uh, the fastest mobile device I've seen handle it is an, uh, the Arcos Android internet tablet, which can uh, fly through this JavaScript in no time at all. On the N900, it does seem to take a little bit longer. But uh, remember, this is um, an early browser for the N900, and probably not the browser that Nokia are working towards. Phone ringing in the background. Sorry, there's uh, the Fennec browser, which Mozilla are working on. 
which will use a newer, I believe, uh, JavaScript rendering engine rather than the one which I believe is based on Mozilla 3.0 or Firefox 3.0. So really taking a bit too long there. In fact, I'm going to have to uh, abort that because it's uh, not so good. Let's try. Let's try Mimo. Uh, sorry, Mebo, not Mimo. <laughs> Me bo.com which is an online instant messenger application again tons of javascript in it um, the front page comes up oh, encrypted page yeah no problem and I'm going to uh, it's picked up the mobile version of it interestingly enough I wonder if we can get to the full version of the website from there we can't So I wasn't able to uh, load the full Mebo.com website. The browser is identifying it as a, or rather the Mebo.com website is identifying the browser as a mobile browser, which is a shame because it is capable of handling it. But the, uh, the mobile version is actually pretty cool and all the JavaScript is working here. So this is a full JavaScript application that's working in the browser, which is nice. Let's have a look at some normal websites. In fact, in the background, I've still got something running. I think it's uh, YouTube. Let's turn that off. And let's go to umpcportal.com. So, umpcportal.com. And we should see... There's a fairly heavy page. Lots of images, a couple of embedded Flash videos, a uh, bit of JavaScript. And uh, we'll see how that uh, that loads up doesn't seem to be connecting at the moment that's interesting let's support that one let's try our friends at Engadget again another image heavy very long uh, front page they have so there's Engadget loading and oops typo <laughs> in Gad Jet, sorry, and gadget. dot com. So let's have a look, see how that loads up. So already the first content is there, and already I'm able to zoom in. So it's pretty nice. Zooming is reasonably smooth, considering this is a uh, resistive touchscreen, and it's still loading the page. Um, let's go zoom right out. Still loading the page, but uh, it actually doesn't matter because I'm flicking through the content there's some backfill lag as you spin up quickly and you very briefly see it very similar to you get to the to the backfill lag you get on Opera 9.5 but uh, yeah it seems to be loading pretty quickly and uh, certainly way way better than the N810 which would, t would have taken at least twice as long to lo load that content here we go again got the uh, images there Still loading the page, but I'm able to zoom in, zoom around quite nicely. So there is a double click to zoom, which um, zooms into a column, which is nice. But there's no reflowing on uh, when you zoom in by hand. So this text is not reflowing like it would be on Opera 9.5. Um, I can hit full screen on that as well to show you the full content. Let's try UMPC portal again. You should be able to just start typing to uh, the page already. Uh, probably a little bit of this is buffered, but there might be some video content on it, so I can show you an embedded video. Hmm. I have another place I can go to. JKKMobile.com. He always has a few videos on his front page, so let's go to JKKMobile.com. And that's loading up pretty quickly. And let's have a look see if we can find a video. Here we go. Here's JKK's Sharp Networker video. Just go to the article. And we should see the YouTube embedded player appear there. There it is. Hit play. And let's see how that goes. Hello and welcome to 
So a little bit of an initial playback problem. I'm expecting that to smooth out though. It's actually still loading the page. Let's go full screen. No, not, not perfect. But actually, watch for all the audio and video is synchronized and some frame drops there, but actually, pretty acceptable if you just want to snack on some YouTube content there. Okay, let's stop that. Go back to uh, the open tabs. Close a few of those off. And let's give you Embassy Portal one more try. U M P. Oops. I just posted a video on U M P Portal. I wonder, wonder if uh, my site is getting a bit overloaded. This is not a good show for U M P Portal. <laughs> it's not even connecting to the website. Hmm. Okay. Well, everything else was was working pretty well. So overall. You've got a pretty fast browser, full flash capability. I think that's uh, Flash 9.5 or 9.4. Um, it's doing videos in G CPU rather than GPU, so there's no HQ and HD acceleration for the YouTube videos. Full screen capability, zooming. Um, you've also got text select capability. If you're coming from the right here, you get a mouse. So you can actually move a mouse around the device and select text and then I believe you can tap and click hmm. I think you can hold tap and hold to copy and uh, select text so that's pretty good but uh, good features this is not going to be the uh, final browser I don't believe I think Fenix is going to come before the end of the year on the N N900 which will actually make the experience even even better especially if they use, use the latest JavaScript engine in the, in the Mozilla browser so all in all pretty good and uh, way way better than uh, other smartphones in this uh, in this size category. Great uh, great steps forward for uh, the Nokia devices. This is Chippy from UMPC Portal in Amsterdam, Memo Summit 2009 with Nokia N900. Thanks for watching.